శ్రీ గురు చరణ కమలేభ్యో నమ వెన్ నారాయణ వాజ్ స్పీకింగ్ టు ట్రినిటీ లార్డ్ బ్రహ్మ లార్డ్ విష్ణు లార్డ్ శివ the earth was already created at that time the four kumaras saraka sanandana sanatana sanat kumar these four kumaras were listening to lord speaking srimad bhagavatam to these trinities they descended to earth these four kumaras descended to earth at that time narad muni also decided to come to this world in due course of time and narad muni came he found uh, people engaged in uh, material activities eating sleeping merry making drinking all nonsense all sinful activities when he saw people engaged in sinful activities around the earth then he thought let me go to holy places possibly i will find some people doing good activities some tangibly good for liberation so he saw people in holy places they were going just to take a dip in a holy river or holy lake or engaged in fire sacrifices with the motivation if giving charity without consideration not thinking who is authorized to take the charity a person should be authorized by god in tradition to accept the charity so in holy places people will give were giving charity to without consideration to whom they were giving charity and what that person will do with the charity received like that so narad muni became despondent moving around he found the brahmanas not living as per many of the brahmanas were not living as per the rules of brahmanism and speaking that all gods are same all path leads to same god like that so narad muni was not happy when person is in disordered or an anxiety it shows up on the face so he came up to vrindavan when he came to vrindavan on the bank of yamuna he saw a female with two children two sons her sons were named as gyana and vairagya and they were old physically old and mother was young bhakti devi the mother was very upset seeing uh, her sons to be old because in natural world mother is older than the sons children take birth from mother so by age mother should be older so he she was not happy seeing her sons to be old 
<clears throat> so Narada Muni saw this, uh, she was crying, standing, her sons were laying down, lying down as old. She also saw Narada Muni. Seeing a saintly person, a householder must become very happy. But in Kali Yuga it is seen when they see a saintly person, normally people become not happy thinking that possibly he will ask some money. <laughs> Asankhyata Bhavet Rodra Kali Yuga. Srimad Bhagavatam speaks in 12th canto. There will be many in Kali Yuga who will come from not very good background, dirty background, sinful. Rodra means whose mother and father are not known. Illegitimate or coming from low background. They will become sadhus and live like saints, have Brahmin thread on their shoulder and accept charity. That will happen in Kali Yuga, Bhagavatam says. So, Bhakti Devi is Bhakti Devi. She recognized the sadhu, Narada Muni, saffron dress. Saying Radhe Radhe Hari Bol, Narad Muni Bajaye Bina Radhika Ramana Nami. So Radha Ramana, Radha Govinda, Radhe Krishna, Radhe Radhe, Jai Sri Krishna, like that. The sounds come from Narad Muni's Tambura Bina instrument, music, musical instrument. So she welcomed him. Oh, Swami, please come. Please come near me, oh, Swami. Please come. Because thinking the Swami will remove her misery, her upsetness. So Swami reached her and uh, said, Who are you? Why you are crying? Who are these fellows lying near you, old people? Like that. So Bhakti Devi replied, Aham Bhakti Riti Khyata Imo Me Taneyo Mato Jnana Vairagya Namano Kala Yogi Na Charcharo He said, she said, Bhakti Devi, to Narada Muni, O oh, saint, he sadhu, you, are, you exist on this planet to benefit everyone. That is the meaning of sadhu. Sadhu's goal should be to benefit everyone without discrimination. Everyone, spiritual benefit. Sadhu don't have money, bank balance, a big magnet, no. But he removes the miseries of life. O oh, Sadhu, my name is Bhakti. I am known to everyone as Bhakti Devi. These two fellows are my sons and their names, Jnana and Vairagya. But due to circumstances and power of time, influence of Kali Yuga, these my sons have become old. Then Narada Muni asked, what is your origin? Naturally, a spiritual seeker must ask a saint or must seek the origin of the saint. It's true where he originated, what is his training, how, what kind of life he lived before taking to spiritual life. Because after taking to spiritual life, 
you cannot do anything that is unwanted. So, Narada Muni asked. So she replied, Aham! Utpanna dravede saham buddhi vruddhir karnataki gata. I am born in South India. Dravida desa. Dravida means Andhra Pradesh. There is Dravida desa. Somewhere there, Andhra Pradesh. There is a state in South India. And she said, I was born in Andhra Pradesh and grew up in Karnataka, the sea. And then I became young and happy jolly in Maharashtra. But when I went to Gujarat and western part of India, I became old because people in Gujarat were doing all kind of ritualistic ceremonies in the name of worshipping God. They were thinking, oh, Krishna and Brahma and Vishnu and Shiva, Durga and Murga, everybody is equal. They were doing that. So by seeing this, I got old. My boys remain young. But when I came to Vrindavan, my boys turned old and I became young. That turned opposite, because it's true. <laughs> Vrindavan is the land of Lord Krishna. Lord Krishna walked in Vrindavan with barefoot, and he ate the earth, the mud of Vrindavan. He ate with his hands. It's such holy place. Lord Krishna performed his pastimes. Bhakti Devi became young, seeing everybody is doing chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, all the devotees were there. <laughs> no. But these Jnana and Vairagya, my two sons became old, so I am in anxiety. Narad Muni. Bhakti Devi, idam sthanam parityajya. The jnana and vairagya are old because people are not engaged in seeking dry knowledge, speculations. You know, God might be this, God might be that. No. In Vrindavan, everybody is thinking God is Krishna and he has two arms, he's playing flute, like that. And uh, Vairagya means detachment, thinking that whole world is nonsense, let's go and, you know, resign everything. Whole world is actually nonsense, but uh, can be used in the service of God. So Jnana and Vairagya found that people are not interested in artificial renunciation and speculation about spiritual life. Therefore, they got old because nobody was practicing Jnana and Vairagya in Vrindavan. So, Narada Muni told her, Listen, or Bhakti Devi, you stay here. If you stay here, then you will be permanent and uh, permanently young and your son should go to the bank of Ganges where people are engaged in seeking uh, knowledge and uh, artificial renunciation like that. Bhakti Devi replied to Narada Muni saying, Idam sthanam parityajya videsam gamyati maya. Oh, saint, I thought before I saw you, I thought, let me go away from this place to the western world. Let me go to the foreign place 
because this place is not happy, that side I go, I become old, and my sons remain young, and this side I come, I become young, and my sons go old. So I thought to go away to the foreign nation, like that. When she said that, Narada Muni said, no, 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 don't worry, you send your sons there, they will be happy. Actually, it's true, when sons were sent to the bank of Ganges, like Haridwar and all that, Banabara, Nashi, all those places, the sons became young. Because in Rishikesh and Haridwar, Tyaga, Bairagya, is very much known. They give up their family and go there and live in uh, caves or bank of Ganges and take bath early morning and in like that, but they think about their family. So that is artificial renunciation. Jnana is Varanasi. Varanasi is a place where they speculate a lot and think everybody is same. You know, they worship Durga and they think it's equal to worshiping Krishna. <laughs> they worship Shiva. They think the worshipping of Shiva is equal to worshipping Krishna. Even sometimes they think worshipping Shiva is better than worshipping Krishna. See? So, that place is like this. Bhakti is not meant for that. And Jnana is meant for Varanasi. Vairagya is meant for North. Uh, like Haridwar, Rishikesh and all those. Badrinath, Kedarnath, all these Himalayas. Like that. So when these, when she saw that my sons are very happy, then she said, oh, I stay in Vrindavan. She said, Danyam Vrindavanam Tena Bhakti Nrityati Yatracha. Ah, ah, ah. How nice it is that in Vrindavan Bhakti Devi raised hand dances in every street. Where you, when you go to Vrindavan, after a few days you change your mind and become devoted, doesn't matter how big. Uh, you know, nonsense you are, doesn't matter. You go to Vrindavan, you only think of Krishna, because places like that. When Bhakti became like this, she asked Narada Muni, O Swami, just see how questions should be asked to Swami. Questions like how my son will do, why I don't have a child, uh, why my daughter is not getting married, why when my court, day, court case will finish, when I will become healthy, when will I receive money. No, these things should not be asked. Swami is a devotee, cannot change oranges into apple, apples. No, this is not necessary. Changes from sinner to pious. It is clean life. That is Swami's power. A person who is marching to hell can be stopped by a Swami. He can close the gateway of hell for you if you surrender as per his desire. Whatever Swami wants, if you do, then your gateway to hell is closed. You go to God. That much power Swami has. <laughs> so she asked, Swami, why Kali Yuga is so bad? Why Parikshit Maharaj accepted Kali Yuga to prevail in this kingdom? Why did he let Kali Yuga be free? Why did Lord Krishna leave this world? If he, when he was here, everything was good. That's actually true. When Lord Krishna was here, everything was perfect. And when Kali Yuga came, everything became bad. So she asked these questions. So Narada Muni replied, Yat phalam nasti tapasa na yogena na samadhina Yet tatphalam labhyate samyak kalau keshava kirtana, like that. He said, O Bhakti Devi, what punya cannot be received by performing austerities, 
by sitting in samadhi, performing sacrifices, giving all these indiscriminately charities or doing these kinds of fast like Durga fast or Santoshi Mata fast or Hanuman fast or Lord Shiva fasts. But that much can be received or much more thousand multiplies can be received by chanting Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. What is purity cannot be received by doing all these religious activities, much more than this can be received just by chanting the names of Krishna. Yatphalam nasti tapasa na yogena samadhina. Tatphalam labhyate samyak, samyak. Samyak is important. The word samyak means regularly, systematically, every day without stop. Chant Kelauke Samkirtan Kali Yuga chant the name of Krishna. Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Ram Hare Ram 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 Hare Hare. That much merit you can receive. So she became very grateful. Actually, it is true. A disciple should remain always in all circumstances grateful to the spiritual master. Indebted. It's very important. She said feeling grateful. Sadhunam darsanam loke sarvasiddhi karam param param O saint, Sega sadhu is very important. By having a vision, visual sadhu, we are seeing. Nowadays people are taking Guru who has departed from this world. See, you cannot see physically. You can see his murti or a picture or a photo, but you cannot see him, you cannot communicate with him. No, you should not be face-to-face, -face talking, conversation should be there. So, Sarva Siddhi Karam Param Param Spiritual Life, Spiritually Sarva Siddhi, all perfection carried, he received. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sastra Koi, Lava Matri Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi Oi, Sadhu should be pure devotee. Then, a pure devotee means his background is also pure. You cannot immediately become pure devotee within this life if your background is impure. You need blessings to become pure in this life if your background is not pure. You require blessings with practice. Special blessings like that. So, then after hearing all this gratefulness from the devotee Bhakti Devi, Narad Muni said, it is my duty to remove all your problems. I will make sure that your problems is removed. And this should be the responsibility of Guru. If he finds a student who will follow him, feels that it is his responsibility to take him back to Godhead. If Guru cannot go back to Godhead, how can he take any, any of his disciples to, back to Godhead? You must ask, what is the guarantee that you will go back to Godhead to a Guru? To find out if he has a guarantee, he should tell. He should flatly tell with a proof that, yes, I am going back to Godhead, you come with me. You hold the instructions like my dhoti. I will pull you there. Just hold on to my instructions. Just hold on. I want you to become pure. You become pure? That means you hold my dhoti. That is the meaning. You hold my cloth. I'll take you back to God. Sure. Because he is going there. <laughs> So, Narada Muni took 
Bhakti Devi to Haridwar. And he saw there the four Kumaras, four Kumaras saw Narada Muni, and Narada Muni's face can be seen in anxiety. No. Face is the mirror of mind, they say. So they ask, Katam Brahman Dina Mukha. Hey Brahman, a saintly person, how come your face looks like you are in anxiety? Why you are so humble, meek? Why you are looking so helpless like that? So he replied, he is, O saints, for Kumaras, I came down to earth and I saw everybody engaged in material activities. They are engaged in Kali Yuga activities, illicit sex, meat eating, gambling, intoxication, cheating, lying, bluffing, hypocrisy. They are engaged in these activities. No one is interested in spiritual life, O oh, saints. How come these people, they have become so friendly to Kali, who is friend to Adharma? Adharma means a religion. I did not see any satisfying activities of these people. Satisfying activities is only one, chanting name of Krishna. So did not see. So Kumaras heard this and they said, Okay, we will speak Srimad Bhagavatam and you invite everyone. We will speak Srimad Bhagavatam by hearing which all miseries of life will be removed. And whatever sins have been accumulated, they will all be gone. And Lord Krishna will come and sit in the heart and never leave. This is the process. Thank you very much.